Oh, hello there. You read the title correctly, we are going to start making portable Bluetooth speakers. Video will be divided in two parts. This part will be about making the speaker and doing first tests. Next time we are going to improve this speaker visually. Like other people, I don't want to spend $150 for JBL portable speaker. That's why I set myself a goal. Make a two times cheaper portable Bluetooth speaker that will destroy JBL charge or even JBL extreme speaker. For this project, if you plan on making it, you will need amplifier with Bluetooth receiver, preferably with at least 2 times 10 watts or more. Also must have is a battery management system aka BMS. Choose the type you want, 3S or 4S. Just because I started a war against JBL, I'll use 5S BMS. That will provide around 21 volts to get the maximum out of my amplifier. Yeah, bringing out the big guns. Also we'll need a battery. I will use 5 lithium 18650 rechargeable cells. They are not cheap, that's why I will get them from old laptops battery. You can often find some good batteries in these laptops. These 5 cell batteries cost around $20 actually. When the amplifier part is complete, we will need some speakers. It is best to get them from some old music center or home cinema surround loudspeakers. Such second hand donors you can get for $5 to $10. It's better than buying speakers separately, because these donors already have correct audio crossover between mid-mass and tweeters. Now we need somewhere where we will put our stuff in. For this I'll use made in Latvia Baltic birch plywood. It's really durable and with good acoustic qualities. I will make box in traditional rectangular shape. It's going to be a stereo speaker, because we'll use both donor speakers and the amplifier is also stereo. Size of the box should be the same as the original, or a little bit bigger if they are surround speakers because then you can get a better bass. I set the bass reflex port to about 80-90 Hz, which is the optimal for small speakers. So let's begin. I'm really sorry for my poor carpentry skills. I'm good with electronics, but I prefer avoiding carpentry. Carpentry affects the visual look, but it doesn't affect the sound. So the key here is to seal all the gaps. After a couple of hours, box is done. Excellent. Another couple of hours and this box will become a portable Bluetooth speaker beast. I'm going to grind some inaccuracies. If I had proper carpentry experience, I wouldn't be doing this. And here's the box made with my basic carpentry skills. Listen how made in Latvia Baltic birch plywood sounds like. Mm. Next step is to put together, measure and pinpoint where everything should be so we can cut holes for the speakers and base reflex port. Well, it looks something like this when everything is marked. These boys are waiting to get into their places. Well, let's return to garage, I have to cut holes for all the parts and speakers. As you can see, I'm a master at carpentry. Also, let's install status LED light and charging port. For charging, I'll use computer charger that gives around 20 volts. Also, don't forget about power switch. Well, it's time for our box to get some content. Put in all speakers and avoid damaging them. Well, it starts to look impressive. Let's not forget about base reflex port. The shielding of these loudspeaker magnets are so Beautiful. Then screw together all the speakers, but do it neatly. Don't forget to put in foam rubber, because they were in original boxes. Put in all the original audio crossovers into the new box. I put audio crossovers on distancers. They will cool better. I also put amplifier on distancer, but I will have to disperse around 40 to 50 watts of power. Connect the appropriate battery to check if everything works. Yes, it's alive! We have done everything correctly. To enhance the box acoustic, I will put in two absorbers. I will use natural wool, an excellent energy absorber. Also, don't forget to glue the base reflex port. Also, attach all box acoustic enhancers. All these spreaders and absorbers should be glued on all bare spots. With hot glue, seal all the holes. Even the smallest hole can ruin the sound. And I also put the glue around tweeters. Screw the lid and cover all stitches with tape. We will improve the visual look later on. Now a little test with external battery that doesn't give all its power.
Thanks for watching. I hope you like this. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next part where I will make some improvements and do some JBL charge versus extreme tests. If you have any questions or recommendations, I will wait for them down in the comments. And adios.